What's going on everybody and welcome to Islanders Daily. And as you guys can see, the background is not done yet. We finished the painting, but I still need to figure out what I'm going to do with the background. However, this was something that I could not not post about. Um, as I said, if there's news of the day, I got to throw it in there. Um, so big news today. Uh, Ryan Pulak signs a two year, $5 million a year deal. So he's back for two years. And I think this is a really smart signing for the Islanders. I always expected it, that it would be about $5 million. Hoping to get a little more term out of that, but I don't think that's such a big deal. Because I definitely think that if they can re-sign Pellick to a one-year deal next year, so that Pellick and Pulak are both up in two years, and then they give them both $5 mil each, boom, that's the top pair for like the next six, seven, eight years after that. So I think there's a long-term uh, plan being made between Pellick and Pulak. But if Pelicans stay healthy, they'll still be back at it again, just like they always are. Um, it's a really smart signing, and I think it's the beginning of many moves for Lou Lamorello over the next week or so. Uh, I think Barzal is still definitely on the back burner because now, down to $4 million in cap space, there's a bit of an issue there when trying to sign Barzal. But obviously, in trying to sign Matt Barzal, Lou would have wanted to keep as much cap space around as possible, meaning he definitely has a plan now for how he's going to get Barzal. He wouldn't have signed Pulak if he hadn't have known that I'm 100% going to get Barzal, but I just have to do this. So I think it's definitely going to be uh, a gritty process for the next few days, trying to figure out how to clear out that cap space. But Lou definitely has a plan if he was willing to just sign off on Pulak before arbitration. Because I, I pretty much think that arbitration would have asked a little more for Pulak. They probably would have gone around the 5.5 range because... He has been incredible last season and the season before that. So I think it'll definitely be um, a morale booster and a sense of familiarity to have him back in the lineup next season. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know this is a short video and I haven't been posting. It's this. It's this, man. It's this. It's just the fact that I have to get, this, get everything going. I mean, I don't have anything up yet. I don't have anything here. Um, I still have to figure out what I'm doing. I was thinking of getting stencils and doing uh, NY symbols for the Islanders across all of here. Um, I'm using a new tripod and a new phone, so the camera's a little bit better, but I might be a little off angle-wise. Um, I'm looking at the camera right now. It looks a little tilted, but I definitely had to jump on this and get a video out for you guys. All right, um, so you're not going to hear from me probably in, for a couple days while I get all this sorted out, but until then... Go down below and like and subscribe. I will be back by the end of the week, I promise. Even if I'm just on a blank, on a blank uh, white wall again. I will be doing back to daily videos by Sunday, I promise. Um, there's just been way too much time in between. Uh, my last video, I think, went out last Friday. So it's been a bit. So guys, again, I'm sorry about that. But I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.